Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. And this piano is a real treasure. It came out of the shop fairly recently. If you haven't seen uh, my other videos, we're actually where we're standing right now. Let's get a shot of the a shot of the shop real quick. We've got a zillion pianos in there right now. A lot of those belong to belong to customers um, that are redoing heirloom kind of pianos. But this video is not about the shop. Um, that's just where all Here's of our the, gallery. The magic happens, and this piano just barely, just barely came out of the shop, um, and it is a beautiful, beautiful instrument. Um, I don't know how the lighting is in here right now, but uh, if you if you can't get a feel for how this piano looks, it is absolutely gorgeous, and uh, you know it's beautifully smooth and soft and refinished, and it's just it's stunning, stunning instrument. Oh, and I'll show you this too. This is part of the craftsmanship of 120 years ago or so. This is this is late 19th century, I believe, something like that. Um, this is part of the craftsmanship. So that's where you put the put the uh, sheet music, and then it folds up just really, really easily to put away, and it becomes a display piece yet again. So there it is. This is this is. For sure, one of the prettiest pianos that we've had that we've had come out. So, um, so yeah, from from a cosmetic standpoint, I would give this piano a ten. This compared to you know, and, and we've got some really really p pretty pianos coming out regularly. This one is right up there at the very top. And then from um, from the more interior kind of the guts standpoint of this piano it's also a phenomenal instrument uh, i'll just play one chord for you real quick you can hear hopefully it comes through on the video So what we've done um, on the inside, I hope, is commensurate with what we've done on the outside. It's it's pretty well. I wouldn't consider it a full rebuild, but it's um, very extensive, nonetheless. So, um, of course, those are new hammers, new uh, bridle straps. Of course, a very very thorough cleaning. Um, we've repinned all of the hammer flanges. The hammer flanges are what what the what the uh, hammers pivot on and so of course new hammer shanks as well shanks are the, these little dowels that dowels that connect the connect the hammers full regulation what that refers to is everything from everything having to do with a touch so like you can see how this is just one example you see how the hammer comes to within an eighth of an inch of the string and then it pulls away that is what is referred to as let off that's just one of many Others would include like the checking, which you can see all of those hammers check anywhere from about oh a half to two thirds, three quarters ish, kind of right in there, depending on how hard you hit the hit the note. They all check, um, ready for repetition. So all of that has been done on this piano. So uh, so touch touch is in great shape. Cameras, of course, are brand new. Um, let's see, let's look at the trap work. Trap work is everything down here. Then the pedals. Pull up my phone and use the flashlight. So, all of that has been. New, new felt and, and the wood just kind of sand it down, make it look nice, that sort of thing. Um, so, trap works in great condition. These, these are the original pedals. Those are not, those are not uh, new pedals, even though they look new. They've been replated, electroplated with with brass. So that's the original 120 or so year old uh, hardware. 
What else? Of course, we've redone the keys. These keys are, are the, the white keys are brand new. The sharps, these are the original sharps, but we've refinished them. And they look beautiful. Oh, bushings also in the in the hammers on the or not the hammers, the, the keys. There are there's a rod underneath, directly underneath there, that uh, that that rod keeps that keeps that uh, key nice and nice and straight aligned this way, so it doesn't move left right. There's not any wobble in there. And then same thing at the at the center. And those bushings, after you know, it doesn't take 120 years for those to wear out. It's more like more like 30 years or so those will wear out. Um, so obviously they were about 90 years overdue. And got those got those old ones removed and, and new bushings put on. And then this this also is called the decal. That's that's been replaced as well. So this piano is absolutely gorgeous. I'm I'm just uh, overjoyed with with how it turned out. Um, maybe I'll talk about uh, about couple things. One, I'll talk about the warranty. I do I do warranty these pianos. I'm very, very proud of these pianos. I stake I stake my reputation on them. So this is not something that we quickly um, go over um, just to just to get them out the door. But quite on the contrary, we're very, very meticulous, very detail oriented. This is something that we in the shop we take very seriously and like I said we're very proud of. Um, and we ensure to the best of our ability that nothing will nothing will go wrong. However, should anything go wrong, which is certainly a, a possibility, as much as I hate to admit it, then I warranty it. I warranty I warranty all of these pianos um, that are that are rebuilt, even though they're 90, 100, 120 years old, I warranty them for three years. Um, but generally I don't. I don't have don't have issues with them. So this this piano is what I would what I would consider to be kind of a hybrid between a rebuild and a refurbishing. Ref, a rebuild being being full everything completely replaced top to bottom. These these pianos are are generally um, very very expensive, but you know essentially brand new on the inside. A refurbish is similar to the rebuild in that there's nothing that we don't touch, that we don't work on, manipulate in some way on the piano. The, the main difference being that with a refurbishing, we're using the same parts, whereas the rebuild is just it's just new new parts for the most part, with, with some with some exceptions. But for the most part, it's new strings, new hammers, new dampers, new everything. Um, so this is kind of somewhere in the middle. Lots of parts have been replaced, but at the same time, a lot of the parts are are original. But, uh, but still in, in very, very good condition. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make that decision in the shop if they weren't in, in very good condition. Okay, so let's, uh, let's hear it. Check it out if you want to see it uh, in person. 1497 South State Street in Orem is the address. Or 
if you're out of state, you can you can absolutely buy this piano with confidence that it is as represented on this video. It's in excellent condition. I've had lots of people do that, and it's surprising that uh, shipping out of state is is of a you know, 600 pound, 700 pound object is is more reasonable than you might expect. Um, or you can call me on my cell 801-830-0011. Thanks for watching.